Hi guys, this is Bob. Uh, picked up a uh, HM9 Heathkit QRP wattmeter. I wanted this to, to go along with the uh, HW9CW transceiver which I have here and I really like the HW9. I like to use it QRP. It runs 5 watts. And this is the matching SWR wattmeter that goes with it. So I picked this up real cheap and was all set to use it and I hooked it up and it didn't read right. Uh, the wattage didn't read right at all and I thought well I'll have to calibrate that. So I took it apart here, I just took the case off to recalibrate it and then I looked at it and I thought something isn't right here. This uh, toroid back here should have two turns of wire going through around the edge here of the board. Two turns of wire around the edge of the circuit board. And uh, I looked at that, they only had one turn and I thought uh oh it's not wired for HF. This particular watt meter SWR bridge can be wired for 2 meters and 6 meters. So I started checking parts and there are 9 parts in here that are for each band. And I looked and it had the 9 parts in it for 6 meters. So I had to pull all those out. I had to run around and look all over the place and check here and there and finally got all the parts that I needed. Uh, there's uh, eight, eight capacitors and one resistor. The resistor is uh, 60, 6340 ohms. It's a 1% resistor. I don't know where in the world you'd get one of those. I suppose some big houses might have it. But what I did is I uh, took a 5600 ohm and measured it. It was 5660 was the resistance. And then I, uh, I, I found a 680 ohm that was right on the money. That gave me 6340 ohms. And I checked it with the ohm meter. Now I have a very, very good ohm meter. I checked the ohm meter with a 600 ohm 1% resistor. It read 601 ohms. So I measured this one and it read 6344, 6344. And I needed 6340, I thought, close enough. So uh, I put that in there. So that's these two res resistors then are in series. They're half watt resistors and they're in series. The capacitors have been changed. Uh, these 1000 picofarad capacitors here uh, for the VHF model were 100 picofarad. And so these I changed to a thousand and these are a little bigger but I bent the leads in a little closer and they fit in there just fine so I got those in there. One thing that I do not like is these uh, coax connectors, these that fasten with a single nut on the back because uh, you can't get them tight enough to really hold. I have actually taken a big wrench to tighten them down and broken them right off. Uh, the thing is they're made out of a pot metal like material. They used these uh, because they were cheap. Heath kit was going out of business at the time this kit was designed and the uh, word came down from management to make everything cheap, cheap, cheap. So they did. And those coax connectors were used. Well when you screw a PL259 onto that and then when you go to screw it off if it grabs a little bit <laughs> you loosen up the coax connector and it won't it won't, uh, it won't be uh, tightened in again anymore. Well, what you're going to have to do is, is you're going to have to take it apart and retighten that nut on the back, which is very hard to do. So uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take some of that great glue, that E6000 glue, that stuff grips like crazy. I'm going to uh, put on my rubber gloves so I don't get it all over my fingers. I'm going to coat these with E6000, put them on there, and then tighten the two of them up, and they will not come loose then. So that'll take care of that little problem. So that's what needed to be done. I had to rewind that uh, toroid. You should have two turns of wire coming over here. I found a piece of, of Teflon wire that I could use for that and rewound the toroid. So this is ready to start putting back together again now. I got all nine of the uh, little uh, the resistor and the capacitors all changed out and ready to put back in here. I probably should have made a little video on what this thing was exactly like before I started, but uh, I try to condense things down here and make it just like one or two videos and make them as short as possible because you don't want to sit there and listen and listen and listen. So anyhow, that's what we're doing here today. 
and it's uh, it's cold out and rainy and uh, so this is a nice thing to do in here on in the ham shack today so I want to get this going so I can use it with the HW9 this summer when I go places so this is the uh, HM9 the matching watt meter for the HW9 transceiver and uh, we're going to get it going here pretty soon I'll make a second video and show how it works so that's it guys 73's and Heath kids forever